Can God change your life in the next 30 minutes? I believe you're watching right now because God has something special for you. Join me for Jewish Voice and you'll discover how Bible prophecy is coming to pass before our very eyes and why you need to stand with Israel. You can play a role in God's end time plan. Find out how on Jewish Voice. Shalom and welcome to Jewish Voice, where we help you to understand the Jewish roots of your Christian faith, Bible prophecy, and why you should stand with Israel. I'm Rabbi Jonathan Burness, and today my co-host Ezra Benjamin is joining me once again as we celebrate the festival of Sukkot. This week, we're observing one of the appointed times of the Lord, and you'll learn today why it's also called the Feast of Tabernacles and God's purpose behind this important celebration. Ezra, this is the final wrap-up, isn't yeah. it? The final yeah. event in God's prophetic history, Sukkot. It was the final harvest of the year, but it also has implications for every follower of Jesus the Messiah. Yeah, so important for you at home to understand. Jonathan, let me back up for a minute. This idea of appointed times, or Moedim in Hebrew, why are these so important for Christians? If these are Jewish holidays, what's the significance for non-Jewish believers in yeah, Jesus? It, it, and that's, I'm sure you're watching asking that very question. This is not just the Jewish feasts. I was raised with uh, an understanding that we had our own holidays, right? our Jewish holidays, sure. and Christians had theirs, they had theirs, and they too were completely separated. In reality, there are divinely appointed times. We hmm. call them Moedim. They're appointed times of the Lord that are part of the divine calendar, a biblical calendar that is that transcends this earth. They're okay. heavenly. These are these are moments, history, historical events, but more than historical events. They have a direct fulfillment, but they also have a prophetic or continuing fulfillment because they are supernatural. They're divine. Ezra, they are God's timetable. They're wow. God's uh, they're God's calendar. These are this is God's daytimer, if you will. Wow! And every appointed time has not only a direct fulfillment, either through an event that was historical or through a harvest, but points to Jesus. I, I want to go back and read something that I read or, or show it in in Colossians chapter two, okay, verse sixteen. We're told that the Sabbath, the new moons, right, the festivals. Right. It wasn't the thing themselves. We're not judged for the thing itself, but they all pointed to Christ. Okay. They all point to the Messiah, be it his first coming or his return, because they're part of God's redemptive plan. They're markers, they're bookmarkers okay. in God's prophetic calendar for the world, not wow. just for the Jewish people. Wow. And they're important to everyone. Definitely. So the reason these are important to our audience at home is because these aren't just things that the rabbis made up. These aren't just Jewish traditions. These are actually biblical appointed times that have a significance on earth and in heaven. Yeah, and they weren't just given to the Jewish people. They're not just given to Israel because they have further significance in Messiah. Let me give you an example. This week, sure. we're celebrating tabernacles. Yeah. We're celebrating, we call it Sukkot in Hebrew, but it's the Feast of Tabernacles mm -hmm. or booths. Mm -hmm. They remember the exodus out of Egypt sure. and, and the, 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 the call to, to, to move when the cloud moves. Mm -hmm. So we just had simple dwelling places. Sure. And so for a week, we set up a temporary booth in our backyard, on our porch, wherever, mm -hmm. and we, we eat our meals right. there. And you see them all over Israel. You see them, of course, in Jewish communities. Sure. But here's what it says in Zechariah in chapter 14. Listen to this. Okay. In Zechariah chapter 14, which the context of chapter 14 uh, is the last days. Hmm. It's talking about uh, the day of the Lord coming and there being great turmoil in Jerusalem and, in fact, the world. And look what it says here in chapter 14, verses 16. Then the survivors from all the nations, that's all the nations of the world that have attacked Jerusalem, will go up year after year to worship the King, the Lord Almighty, and to celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles. If any, verse 17, if any of the peoples of the earth do not go up to Jerusalem to worship the king, they will have no rain. When? On the Feast of Tabernacles. Wow. That just turns it into a universal feast, a universal day of remembrance or celebration 
that involves all the nations of the world, unfortunately, that survived the last days. Yeah, so not just a command for the Jewish people, but we see in Zechariah clearly that this is actually a command for all the nations of the earth to keep this Jewish feast. With the consequence, you don't celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles, you don't get rain. Wow, serious. So it makes it a universal, uh, a universal day of, of observance. Sure. And, and this, this is an illustration of all of the appointed times mm -hmm. that are not Old Testament Jewish things wow. to, that have passed away, right. but remain eternal. Right. We talk about Passover, the watershed event in Jewish history, but it's not just Jewish history. It's not just the exodus out of Egypt. It points to yeah. the greater revelation, the greater redemption in the Messiah, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Right. Last week, Ezra, we talked about Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, and the idea that during that moment, that, that day, the high priest would lay hands on mm -hmm. two goats, mm -hmm. one of them would be sent off into the wilderness bearing the sins of the people. Right. Who is that? The greater fulfillment is Jesus, Yeshua. Hmm. He is uh, taken to a desolate place in the crucifixion and he dies outside the city in this desolate place. And just like the scapegoat, he is the scapegoat who bears our sins yeah, in so his body. The fulfillment of that day of covering, that day of atonement is Yeshua, Jesus himself, our scapegoat. Yeah, so now, now we have Sukkot, which has huge prophetic significance hmm. for all the nations of the world. Mm -hmm. Jesus in the Passover, Jesus in Yom Kippur, Jesus in Rosh Hashanah, Jesus in the Feast of Tabernacles. Jesus in everything. Why yeah. don't we just say that? But the, but, the, but the appointed times of the Lord, along with Sabbath and everything else in the Old Testament, are roadmaps that point to Yeshua, yeah, to Jonathan, Jesus. Jonathan, you've produced some fantastic teaching materials, some resources like this DVD that we want to get into your hands so you can understand the significance of the feasts of God, those Moedim, those appointed times, and what they mean for you and your family. Yeah, Sukkot is a universal appointed time. It involves the nation, yeah. it inv nations. It involves the church. It involves you specifically. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm teaching, I did a teaching on celebrating Sukkot and also the fall feasts and Hanukkah. Yeah. This will help you understand what these appointed times mean for you. Because listen to me, there's blessings in every appointed time of the Lord and they point to Yeshua. So if you wanna to get to know Jesus better, understand the fall feasts and how he fulfills the fall feasts. And also this beautiful uh, uh, devotional appointments with God smells good too. It has a daily, it's a daily devotional. 90 seconds, you carry it in your back pocket, in your purse, and you forget uh, to get time with the Lord, and you realize, I've got a devotional with yeah. me. And it's directly connected to the appointments with God, the divine appointments with God. You spend 90 seconds, and guess what? God speaks to your heart. Yeah. He speaks to the situation you're going through. We want to sow these materials into your life as you stand with this ministry, and I especially want to invite you to become a monthly partner We've got, this is a really beautiful Jewish Voice exclusive. It is a, a booth. It's a tabernacle, just like the ones that uh, uh, we build or you'll see in Israel. And it has the scripture on it. You shall celebrate the festival of tabernacles unto the Lord for seven days in the year. You shall live in, in booths for seven days. That's the commandment. And uh, it's a beautiful little thing you can put on your mantle. And remember that you are blessing the Jewish people. Yeah through Jewish Voice. So I encourage you, please consider becoming a monthly partner with this ministry. If you love the Jewish people, then the greatest blessing you can give them is the gospel. Here's how to join with us. Right now on God's calendar, we're celebrating Sukkot or the Feast of Booths. It's the final feast of the year and a time of great joy as we see God's abundant blessings in our lives. Rabbi Jonathan spent hours of research developing his teaching entitled, Celebrating Sukkot, the Feast of Booths. In it, he reveals four key truths about God found in this feast, and you'll discover the difference between religion and a true relationship with God. This full DVD is bundled together with this excellent guide on the fall feasts, as well as this handy Appointments with God daily devotional. It's a convenient size so you can take it with you anywhere. We'll send all of these resources to you today as you support Jewish Voice Outreaches with a one-time gift of just $40.
call the number on the screen now so we can get these resources out to you today. Jonathan is encouraging you to join him as a monthly partner today. Your ongoing support makes it possible for Jewish Voice to plan outreaches that will affect the lives of thousands as we share the love of Yeshua in places where God's light is dim. As you join us with your monthly support of just $30 today, you'll not only receive the incredible resources already mentioned, but Jonathan will also send you this replica of a sukkah or booth, which is described in Leviticus 23, a beautiful reminder of God's protection for his people. Again, you will receive all of these resources for your generous support of just $30 a month. Your gift today can change eternity for someone, providing a gospel experience where they can encounter Yeshua, the Messiah, and be forever transformed. I want to encourage you to be a monthly partner with Jewish Voice. The greatest blessing that you can give a Jewish person is the gospel, the good news that Jesus, Yeshua, is their Messiah. So if you want to bless the Jewish people, bless them by becoming a monthly partner with Jewish Voice. Call our 800 number now and let our representative know which level of giving you'd like to participate in. Your gift today will be used to bring the gospel of hope to thousands around the world. And again, your monthly partnership with Jonathan would be greatly appreciated. If you prefer, you can always choose to give online at jewishvoice.tv, or you can also donate by mailing your gift to the address on the screen. Thank you in advance for your generous support of Jewish Voice and for making a difference through your sacrifice. Now, let's rejoin Jonathan and Ezra. I just want to take a moment to express my appreciation on behalf of our ministry for your prayers and ongoing financial support. You're making all the difference in enabling us to reach Jewish people and their neighbors with free medical, dental, eye care, and most importantly, the gospel and uh, it's making all the difference. It yeah. really is. Well, Ezra and I are talking about Sukkot, the Feast of Booths or the Feast of Tabernacles. And this is the an in-gathering. Ezra, I believe right now, as people watch, that they, that they can claim, you can claim this blessing of in-gathering. Mm. It's a harvest. Maybe your children have strayed from the Lord. Maybe your grandchildren have strayed from the Lord. Maybe your spouse has strayed from your family, not just the Lord. This is the time to call them back. This week is the end gathering. It's the harvest. Yeah. The angels of God are being dispatched right now to draw your loved ones back, back to him, back to you, back to the, he wants to restore families right now. This is the opportunity. This is a divine appointment with God as we observe the Feast of Tabernacles this yeah. week. So important, yeah. so, so critically important for you at home to understand. Jonathan, we, we know that uh, the Feast of Tabernacles relates back to our people dwelling in booths or Sukkot. A booth is a sukkah in Hebrew right. uh, after the exodus from Egypt. But talk to us a little bit more about this idea of, of dwelling with the Lord, this idea that in the future God's going to dwell with men like we dwelt in booths. Yeah, well, of course, the promise of the Messianic age, before mm -hmm. the millennium, the idea of the millennium came along, which is from uh, Revelation chapter 20, verses 1 through 6, a thousand-year reign, mm -hmm. the, the hope of Israel, the mm -hmm. hope of the Jewish people was the coming of the Messiah yeah. and a Messianic age. Right. Where, and that will happen, whether it's a literal thousand years or not, I'm not going to say emphatically, but I will say emphatically that Jesus, Yeshua, is going to return in, in physical form to Jerusalem, not heavenly Jerusalem, physical Jerusalem, and establish his earthly reign in physical form. He's going to rule and reign out of Jerusalem. That's, wow. that is a, that's fundamental to our faith. Yeah. It, it needs to be fundamental to your faith. There's another thing I want to talk about, Ezra, also, and that is the idea of dwelling in, in, in booths, which mm -hmm. are very simple. Th this idea of just a very sure. simple dwelling is the idea that we're not here permanently. Hmm. We're, we're sojourners in this land. Mm -hmm. Our citizenship is not in America or England or, or any other nation. It's in heaven. Mm -hmm. And so we need to, to live life in this transient state, in booths or mm -hmm. tabernacles. Mm -hmm. Why? Because when the cloud moves, we move. Wow. 
when the pillar moves, a fire moves, we move. Mm -hmm. And this is a great week to remember that, that, yeah. that we're on assignment. Right. And we need to be ready to move. We don't want to get anchored to this world. We want to be anchored as citizens of heaven. Yeah. That's a great message to, to just, and I talk about it quite a bit in my teachings on Sukkot. Definitely. And Jonathan, actually our people, if you look at the materials that we're commanded to build these Sukkot with once a year, they're materials that can't last long. In essence, God's saying, I want you to build something that can't last forever. Exactly. Just like our bodies and this, you know, the earth that we dwell in, it can't last forever. But we're supposed to remember that there's a greater reality, an eternal reality that God tabernacles with us. Absolutely. And again, it's temporary. Yeah. Who knows? when God will, we, we gain the whole world and we lose our own soul. Who knows the moment that our life will be taken? Yeah. Who knows? Paul says to be absent in the body as a, for a believer right. is to be present with the Lord. Yeah. Now that's the assurance that we have. Yeah. But if we don't have that, then what do we have? Right. We gain the whole world, we gain nothing. Right, and what a good time for us as Jewish people and for you at home to remember that these bodies that we're tabernacling in can't last forever. They, they can't, you know, understand that. People get sick because we live in a fallen world. Yeah. Uh, people hurt one another because we live in a fallen world, but we have the mercies of God and they're new every morning. Amen. I want you to receive this because mm -hmm. some of you are going through real trials this week. The good news is, is that we're celebrating a greater reality this week as we observe the Feast of Tabernacles. Not only is life transient, but we're next to the pillar of fire. We're in the presence of God through this. So we may go through the storm, we may go through the fire, we may go into the furnace, but guess who's with us? The Son of Man. Yeah is right alongside of us, and he's right alongside of you today. Oh, right, what an eternal so reality, Jonathan. I can, I can feel the Spirit of God just <laughs> ministering to our audience right now. Things that are temporary, things that won't last forever, but the promises of God which do last forever, yeah, which that, are eternal. Look, the promise is, is for you. Yeah. It's, this is not a Jewish thing. This is a God thing, a God moment for you. Hmm. Okay, this is a God moment for you. And some of you are going through some real unrest in your life because he wants you to move out of the situation you're in now. The, the, the pillar of, of uh, the cloud, uh, the pillar of fire is moving and he wants you to move with him into the next chapter of your life. Folks, you may be going through turmoil, but it's a good thing because it's time to move with the Lord and he's gonna bring you into a whole new chapter. Yeah. I love this week. Yeah, me too. I love this week. It's awesome and I love what the, it reminds me of. So much. It's awesome how the fall feast, the spring feast, the appointed times of God point us to heavenly eternal realities it, 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 for it, our it. people and for you at home. Jonathan, members of our audience watching at home may be saying, yes, something's stirring within me. I want to appropriate these promises, but I don't know how to do it. You've produced some fantastic materials like this celebrating Sukkot DVD teaching series on how you at home can take hold of the promises of God related to the Jewish feasts, not just for our people, but for all nations. Yeah, we create materials here, I think, that are different than just about any other ministry that I know of, hmm. because we want you to understand the Jewish roots of your faith, yeah. because you're a son or daughter of Abraham. Hmm. That's what's happened to you through your relationship with Jesus. We call him Yeshua, he's the Messiah of Israel, but he's also the savior of the world but it ties you into the Jewish people. You're part of the mishpocha. Yeah. You're part of the family. So we want to sow that resource into your life. We also have this week, as we celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles, the Fall Feast and Hanukkah. This not only will give you an understanding of the Hebrew calendar specifically related to these feasts, but also how you can celebrate them in your own home. That's really important. And get all of, receive all of the blessing. Yeah that God has connected with these appointed times. And we also have an appointments with God a devotional. It fits in your pocket, you throw it in your purse, and for just 90 seconds, you read this devotional and uh, it gives you some instructions to follow. It, it has the different feasts of the Lord and it will re really be a blessing to you. We wanna sow these resources into your life as a way of saying thank you for helping us to reach the Jew first with the good news of their Messiah. If you'll become a monthly partner, we have this beautiful, this was designed especially for Jewish voice. It has, it's a, it's a booth. 
it, it's, a, it, it's a reminder of the Feast of Tabernacles, and you just put it on your mantle. It's gorgeous, and it reminds you uh, that God is going to rule and reign over the earth when Jesus returns and sets up his kingdom. You put it on your mantle, and it reminds you to pray for the Jewish people and the fact that you're blessing the Jewish people through this ministry. So I really encourage you, please, become a monthly partner with this ministry. Here's how. Right now on God's calendar, we're celebrating Sukkot or the Feast of Booths. It's the final feast of the year and a time of great joy as we see God's abundant blessings in our lives. Rabbi Jonathan spent hours of research developing his teaching entitled Celebrating Sukkot, the Feast of Booths. In it, he reveals four key truths about God found in this feast, and you'll discover the difference between religion and a true relationship with God. This full DVD is bundled together with this excellent guide on the fall feasts, as well as this handy Appointments with God daily devotional. It's a convenient size so you can take it with you anywhere. We'll send all of these resources to you today as you support Jewish Voice Outreaches with a one-time gift of just $40. Call the number on the screen now so we can get these resources out to you today. Jonathan is encouraging you to join him as a monthly partner today. Your ongoing support makes it possible for Jewish Voice to plan outreaches that will affect the lives of thousands as we share the love of Yeshua in places where God's light is dim. As you join us with your monthly support of just $30 today, you'll not only receive the incredible resources already mentioned, but Jonathan will also send you this replica of a sukkah or booth, which is described in Leviticus 23, a beautiful reminder of God's protection for his people. Again, you will receive all of these resources for your generous support of just $30 a month. Your gift today can change eternity for someone, providing a gospel experience where they can encounter Yeshua, the Messiah, and be forever transformed. I wanna encourage you to be a monthly partner with Jewish Voice. The greatest blessing that you can give a Jewish person is the gospel, the good news that Jesus, Yeshua, is their Messiah. So if you wanna bless the Jewish people, bless them by becoming a monthly partner with Jewish Voice. Call our 800 number now and let our representative know which level of giving you'd like to participate in. Your gift today will be used to bring the gospel of hope to thousands around the world. And again, your monthly partnership with Jonathan would be greatly appreciated. If you prefer, you can always choose to give online at jewishvoice.tv, or you can also donate by mailing your gift to the address on the screen. Thank you in advance for your generous support of Jewish Voice and for making a difference through your sacrifice. Now, let's rejoin Jonathan and Ezra. Welcome back to the program. Today, we've been talking about the Feast of Booths or Tabernacles, Sukkot, and what it means to you as a believer. This is an eternal observance, an eternal moad, remembrance, appointed time. And uh, I really encourage you to, to celebrate this in your own home. Now we're going to jump right into a few questions that we've received from you, our viewers. Ezra, I love hearing from our viewers. Yeah. I love answering questions. We get so many, but we've chosen just a few. Yeah. So let's jump in. We've got some fantastic ones again today, Jonathan. First of all, Larry from Nampa, Idaho asks, I've heard that the observance of Sukkot is a celebration of God being present in all circumstances. Is this true? Yeah, Larry, uh, I, think, I think it is in part. The idea of, of Sukkot is that we're living in booths, that, we're, that our life is transient, and that we're ready to move with the Lord. So I think it's true when we actually follow that and we, we're, we're, we're moving when the cloud moves or the pillar of fire moves. The, that's the idea here, that this life is temporary, we're on assignment, and the, the objective is to stay in the will of God, to stay in the flow of God's blessing when we pray according to his will, he hears us. Yeah. It's about getting into his will. How do we do that? By seeking first his kingdom and his righteousness and everything else will be added to you. I think that's a great verse yeah. that, that typifies the Feast of Tabernacles. Good great. question. Very good. Yeah. Michaela from Sumter, South Carolina asks, very simply, what does the word Sukkot mean? 
Michaela, easy answer. It's about booths. It's a, Sukkot is the plural of sukkah, which is a temporary dwelling that has uh, branches and fronds. And for seven days, we're living or certainly eating meals and remembering the children of Israel who lived a transient life and moved when the Lord moved or said it's time to move and his presence moved. We move with the presence of God. It, mean bo it means booths or tabernacles, temporary dwellings. Yeah, Jonathan, yeah. I know we want to pray for our audience before we, do. we run out of time today. We do, we do. Uh, this is an, a great week to pray for the ingathering of family that have departed. Maybe your spouse has left and you're praying for them to return. Well, this is the week. Latch on to this promise that God wants to, to through dis the dispatch of his angels, yeah. regather people to himself mm -hmm. and to each other, to mm -hmm. family. And so we agree in the name of Jesus, in the name of Yeshua, for ingathering. Yeah. Lord, thank you for bringing back the children and the grandchildren mm -hmm. and the spouse and the loved oh, ones, man. the mothers and the fathers, the brothers and the sisters and the friends, bringing them back to you if they've strayed. <clears throat> Lord, bring them back mm -hmm. to each other, back to family. We yeah. declare it yeah. during this week of ingathering. Mm -hmm. And Lord, for those that are stuck, kind of just stuck, Lord, may they move now with you in your yeah. presence. We speak the presence of the living God mm -hmm. into your life, into every situation. Amen. In Jesus' name, we agree together in the name of Yeshua. Well, if you have prayer needs or you'd like more information about our ministry, you can log on to our website. It's jewishvoice.tv, just one word, jewishvoice.tv. We have lots of resources for you on our site. Just know this as we finish the, the program, God loves you. And so do we. We're yeah. here for you. As we close our program, I also want to remind you, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Psalm 122.6 exhorts us, exhorts us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. So please pray for the Jewish people during this important week of tabernacles. Until next time, this is Jonathan Burnus with Ezra Benjamin saying shalom and God bless you. about this one. Yeah, seeing the upper room was amazing. Yeah, well, it really was. Hey, hi everybody. Hey, this is my daughter, Liel, and we're just looking at pictures from last year's Israel tour. And we're doing it on the new JVMI mobile app. This is an app that's filled with important news about Israel. It's so easy to personalize the content so that you actually get what you're interested in. All you have to do is click personalize now and then you check off what you want to read about. It's that simple. You can follow along as we bring the gospel to Jewish people in remote places. You can see how Bible prophecy is coming to pass now. You can even watch our TV program. My JVMI works on your iPhone, your Android, or your tablet. Here's the best part. It's free and you can download it right now. Liel, tell them how. Just go to your app store and download MyJVMI. Again, that's MyJVMI.